What's up everybody? Today we're going to be going through the process of sighting in your red dot scope on an AR-15. Now we've split the upper receiver from the lower, removed the charging handle and the bolt carrier group so we can see through the barrel at our intended target. The target's downrange at 50 yards. Okay, yep. I can clearly see that the dot is on paper, so now we're ready to put this thing back together and continue the process. After looking through the bore, if the dot doesn't appear to be on paper, it's going to be pretty obvious, so make your adjustments to get it back on paper. It's important to note that simply lining up the red dot with the iron sights on your AR-15 is not the recommended way to get on target. They are independent sighting systems and should be treated as such. A co-witness with your iron sights just means that you can view your irons through the red dot in the event your dot goes down and use them as a backup. Now that we have our bore sight, we're gonna put the gun back together, send some rounds down range, and continue the sight-in process. We're sighting this red dot in at 50 yards. Other common sight-in distances are 25, 36, and 100. We've also turned our brightness level down to its lowest setting. This gives us a finer aiming point and allows us to be more accurate when shooting groups. It's important to keep in mind your zero is only as good as you are. If at any point you don't feel confident in a group you shot, shoot another that you do feel confident in. We're gonna be shooting five shot groups. That gives us more data to go off of to make sure that we're making proper adjustments. All right, so let's shoot our first five round group at the upper left target. We have our five round shot group here. It looks like we're about 2.75 inches high and about 1.5 inches to the right. We're gonna use our adjustments and bring our impacts down and to the left. It's important to remember that the click value on this red dot is one MOA. So that will be the equivalent to approximately one half inch when we make our adjustments. We've made our adjustments and are about to initiate our second five round group. It's important to take your time on these shots so you're as accurate as possible. Red dots are designed to go fast, but we wanna make sure that when we squeeze the trigger when we are going fast, our rounds are going exactly where we want them to. Looking at our second five round group, it's pretty solid but shades a little bit to the left. We're gonna bring our adjustments on the optic, a click to the right, and we should be sighted in. Okay. We made our final adjustment fired another five shot grip to confirm. We're satisfied with this group. One thing to note, you may be used to tighter groups with a magnified optic on your precision rifle. This is an unmagnified optic at 50 yards. Our group still stayed within the length of a 5.56 cartridge, which is perfectly adequate for how we intend to use this setup. If you can shoot even better than that, that's awesome. Now all we have to do is put the caps back on our optic and we're sighted in. If you have any questions about sighting in your red dot, any of our optics or anything else, please don't hesitate to reach out via phone, email, the comments below, any of our social platforms, we're always here to help.